So we're in Zion. We are taking Mercedes for her first helicopter trip over Zion. And the question is, is she going to puke or pee? <laughs> So we're gonna share a lot of tips, things that I wish I had known ahead of time and maybe things that I'm glad I didn't know ahead of time. Overall, I am glad that I did it. So we're on our way to Zion Helicopters to take a helicopter ride over uh, Zion and Mercedes is a little bit nervous. Sage is really excited. Are you ready to go on the helicopter? Um, yes. Where do you wanna go? I want to go and go and fly in the sky. Sky. You want to fly in the sky in a helicopter? Okay. I think I'm the only one that's like really thinking this through critically. <laughs> if it wasn't for the fact that we're going to be going over something so beautiful. And hey, remember, life is short, babe. Yeah, it'll be even shorter after this. <laughs> so check out where we're heading into right now. Zion is absolutely amazing. We thought it was amazing driving through. We've been here for a little over a week now. We love Zion, it's just so beautiful. But seeing Zion from the air is an experience that is second to none. Zion, my rights away. The place we went to was absolutely gorgeous and it was really cute. They had like shirts and shot glasses, like little merch for sale. I really wish that they had had baby helicopters for sale. That would have been really cute. The shots, we weren't sure if the shot glasses were for before the helicopter ride or after <laughs> the helicopter ride. You want to go in the helicopter? Okay. They actually walk you through a whole safety demonstration in the beginning and we thought that the safety demonstration was like, you know, put a book over your head and kiss your butt goodbye kind of thing. And part of the demonstration was the puke bags, but I didn't really think they would be necessary. Please don't go towards the tail, that's the danger zone. There's a spinning propeller that's super fast and dangerous and there's also a gasoline on the breathe in. That they actually weigh you before you get on the helicopter and I'm not talking driver's license weight here, I'm talking you actually have to stand on a scale. So just empty out your pockets, people. <laughs> we were super lucky to have a friend of ours, Jason, of taking our toys in living with us and he, so he jumped on the plane he was doing photography work in the back seat and helping us with sage yeah he was working <laughs> yeah jason was awesome It was a really unique experience. Unlike a plane, we absolutely needed those headphones in order to hear. Riding a helicopter is nothing like a plane. The takeoff is very weird. It's like whoa, whoa. But one of the things that I noticed about the plane when we took off is that um, he ran straight down the highway um, and then he made a hard bank turn, probably at about, a, he told us about 120 miles per hour. I think he was testing to see what Mercedes could handle and what Mercedes couldn't handle. That bank started it.
um, and we definitely felt our ears popping from time to time so chew gum or you know pop your ears when you're out there We were covered by these cliffs, and then when we went above the cliffs, we You'd could get the updraft off the cliffs, and the uh, the helicopter would either drop, you know, probably 50 or 60 feet, or it... rise 50 or 60 feet. Yes. Yeah, so... The helicopter pilot was phenomenal. He did a great, great job. Yeah. He knew Mercedes was nervous when we first got on the plane. Um, he told her where the puke bags were, <laughs> just well, in case. Yep. <laughs> well, it turns out they almost were necessary, and here's the big reason why. We were sitting. I was sitting in the back and the back had this heavy fuel smell. I learned later that I could have just told them about it and they could have opened the windows and it would have made it, it more cold. It a little bit. Yeah, so it wasn't venting, so John was fine in the front. He wasn't getting this fume smell. I felt like I was inhaling fumes of gasoline Yeah, something. John was in seventh heaven in awe of everything that I was seeing around me. It was just absolutely <laughs> incredible. And every time I did take a peek into the back seat, Sage's face was ear mm -hmm. to ear. Mercedes was happy. I thought it was a pretty, I thought it was a pretty smooth flight. <laughs> well, John's definition of smooth isn't saying much because <laughs> if you knew about John, you know that he'd ride anything. <laughs> You know, one of the cool things about those bank turns was that they allowed us to get some really sweet footage. Incredible footage. But they were a little hairy. So, <laughs> you know, I'm glad we did this experience and I'm really glad we could share this with you. But I just think you should be forewarned, especially if you're like me and you do tend to get motion sickness. <laughs> And the landing was actually pretty seamless, whereas when you're landing in an airplane, that's the part that's kind of scary. So overall, I am glad that I did it. If you're new to our channel, welcome. If you'd like to become a member of the RV Odd Squad, just hit the subscribe button, give our video a thumbs up, and you're a member. And make sure you ring the bell so you actually get notified of our videos because we're doing all these crazy adventures and we don't want you guys to miss out. 
Yeah, we are just going to some amazing places and we want to share all of that with you. So thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next we'll video. We'll see you in the next video, guys.